In this video, we're going to take a look at your YouTube ad site link extensions. This is the 12th video in a 14 video series. So if you're just joining me, make sure to go back and go through all of these videos because I'm walking you through a audit that you can do on your campaign to help improve your results. You can also download my guide, which will walk you through all the steps, give you links to all these videos, find the link with this video to go download that guide. So today's video is about site link extensions, which are relatively new, but I don't think at this point, you know, every, everyone should be using them. They're not so new that they're untested. Th these are definitely tested. They work and you should be using site link extensions with your YouTube ads. So site links are basically going to be uh, text links that show up below your ad when it plays on mobile. These are, do not show up at this time with ads on computer. They only show up on mobile. And what they are is just pieces of text that people will see and then they can click on to go to your website. So if we look at this account, uh, we do see some extensions here. Uh, these are, there's a couple call out and structured snippet extensions. These only apply to search campaigns. And then we have site link extensions. Now it looks like uh, these extensions are set up at the account level and it looks like they were all intended for search campaigns. But because they're set up at the account level, they're also being applied to these YouTube ad campaigns. So what we want to do is actually set up site links specifically for the YouTube ads that are then going to show up with the, with the video ads. And if we add the site links in each campaign, that will override these site links that are at the account level. Um, so you see, the reason these aren't really going to work for YouTube is the YouTube ads are advertising a, a webinar opt-in. Now this one uh, might be okay. This free training, maybe that actually does go to a webinar. Um, free book, this is a completely different thing. We probably don't want to send people here if we're trying to get them to register for a webinar. Same with contact us. There's no reason for someone to contact us. We really just want all the, all the traffic to go to the webinar. Uh, you can see if I go to a specific campaign here that it is using these site links, right? It's not using the call out or structured snippets because those don't apply to YouTube, but it is using these site links. So people are seeing them and probably clicking on them. So if they're clicking to the wrong place, then we're going to see worse results in our campaign. We want people to go to the desired landing page. So go check this yourself. Is, are your campaigns using site link extensions and do they make sense for your YouTube campaign? Now, not only can these extensions bring people to your landing page when they click on them, uh, by the way, these should all just go to the same landing page. They should all go to your, your landing page that your regular ad goes to. Um, so not only can they click on them to go to the page, but they're also going to see these. So that means even if they don't click on these, we want to add some value here. We want to give people a reason to potentially click and opt in for our offer. So just saying things like uh, free book, contact us, this isn't really going to help us. It we, would be better to pick out some things, some features and benefits of whatever we are offering and use those as the text in the site link extensions. Okay, so that that's what I want you to focus on with this video is really just make sure you have site link extensions make sure the text would would be valuable even if someone didn't click on that extension 
if they read it, it should be text that is motivating to get them to either click that extension or to just click the main link with the ad. And then these extensions should all be going to your desired landing page. They should all be going to your opt-in page, the same page that your ads are linking to. Uh, that's all I have for today's video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to download my guide to walk you through a total of 14 different, uh, different topics related to optimizing and uh, managing your YouTube ad campaigns. Again, my name is Kyle Sullerud, and I'll see you in the next video.